Welcome, Virtue customers. We are here with Keith Rovald. He is the Player Services Manager here on the PBA Tour. He's going to tell you a little bit about his jobs here on the Tour and what his job entails. Yeah, well, basically, um, first of all, I'm in charge of uh, getting these two trailers. We have two trailers parked side by side. Uh, one of them is the stock trailer for all the manufacturer's equipment. And the other one is the one that we're currently in, and it's where we do all the labor work, uh, drilling balls for the players. But my, my first job is to get the trailers from one stop to another. And um, so then we set up, and this, both trailers are filled with all the tournament equipment. Uh, that includes lane machines, uh, computers, screens, all the stuff that's needed to, to put on the event itself. And uh, that all gets offloaded into, into the bowling center. We set that up the day before the tournament starts. And uh, then this becomes operational and self-contained uh, to drill the balls for the players. Uh, once the tournament starts, uh, the practice day is the first tournament, first day of the tournament, and it's actually the busiest day of the week. It's when uh, the players will go out and practice. <clears throat> they'll find out what they're what they're up against, and then they will drill specifically for the moment. And uh, so they'll they'll drill out balls, and we'll usually drill about half of the balls that we drill for the whole week are on that day. Uh, this week, for instance, we drilled 156 on practice day alone. And uh, when the players feel, when the players come in to get a ball, it's their responsibility to provide their specs to us. And what I mean by specs is their hand measurements. And so what they're doing is they're actually placing a work order with us. And then it's our job to basically follow their instructions. And what they'll do is they'll grab one of these sheets. And at the end of the week, we'll have about 300 of these that I have to process. Um, and they'll fill out their measurements here and they'll put the ball type here. And then uh, there's a cost to do this anywhere from 40 to $55. Uh, for us to put the holes in it per ball, uh, per ball, and so and then what we'll do is uh, we'll actually drill the ball. They'll place the ball up here, and they'll put their name on the top of the box. We'll actually uh, take it from there, and then it goes to my station, and I will actually take it and scribe it. And I use a metal tool that actually etches their their uh, measurements into the ball itself, and it's just just a little tool like this. And mine's got tape on it, so I know which one one I like to use. And then I'll actually scribe the ball, and then it goes from here to the drillers behind me, and I have two drillers, and, and they will actually put the holes in it. Then they'll hand it back to me or put it on this rack, and if it's on this rack, I know it's finished. I'll take it from this rack and put it on the rack behind her, and then the players will come in, and if they don't see that they're, if they see that the ball's not on the rack, they know that it's not done yet, and they'll just turn around and walk away. Um, so basically, the, the we'll, we'll, we'll do, do that from... Eight in the morning till six in the evening, pretty much nonstop on practice day. Once the tournament gets going, obviously we don't drill as many because players get eliminated. Once they get eliminated, they don't drill anything. And uh, we also transport the equipment from stop to stop for the players at four dollars a ball. <clears throat> this here is some transport that's going to the next tour stop, and that's just the beginning of it. And these racks will fill up uh, during the week, and when we get to the next stop, we'll offload them, put them in the locker room. And set up and do it all over again. Perfect. So every player, no matter if you're an amateur that's coming to bowl the Masters or you're a PBA touring professional, everybody has to pay the same amount to get the ball drilled. Correct? correct. That is correct. That's good. So the next time you drill a ball at home, you know that it costs the same amount to drill it out here as it's going to cost you at home. Pretty much. So Keith, thank you for your time. We're going to head around to the other okay. uh, the other truck and we'll look at some balls. Um, and now we have um, all the deviate equipment that's over here. We have uh, Brunswick's and then Motive and Columbia, and it goes all the way down, all the way down this way where all the balls from all the companies are. And what somebody does is they ask a brand manager or a tour rep, what ball do I need? And the tour rep comes out here and they select the right pin position and top weight, and then they lay the ball as the balls out over here before those balls go to Keith. So if you ever want to know what's happening on tour, this is what happens. <laughs> 